Yeah. Yeah. Ta -ta. All I see is your back. <laughs> Golly. No, 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 no. You gotta pick it up. Pick it up and hold it like Vanna. Show me like Vanna. There you go. So what's going on? Golly, series. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Goofy, but nice. Today's big task is to take the kitchen here, which I'm starting to tear apart. Uh, as in previous episodes, we saw where our hero had worked on and completed the bathroom. And yes, we can call it a bathroom because it actually does have a bathtub in it. See this video here. Okay. Uh, also completed the V-Bird section. Isn't that fantastic? Now, we still got some electrical work to do in there, but I'm going to hold off on that. I want to kind of flush out the kitchen today, the old famous cardboard kitchen. Uh, then have the Admiral come down and do a full inspection of the cardboard kitchen and make adjustments where needed. I'm sure an X-Acto knife will be used quite a bit. <laughs> you can see I've got that vinyl material with holes in it, which is great for 1950s cars, headliners, uh, which probably works pretty well for this too, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the Wayne's coating that I have been doing. Uh, but for right now, I just cut it away so I can see what i got to work with, because I'm going to take this area here and bring it up and attach it to here and run it over there, attach it to there. So this will be kind of a slight wall with a, with a hole through the middle so we can see the big screen TV. Oh, not there yet, but it's coming. The oven, I'm not certain what I'm gonna do with this yet, if I'm gonna keep it and just kind of sand her down and repaint her. I've got some rust going on underneath the paint, so I might, uh, I might just redo it or I might just go ahead and buy another one. Although, because uh, we're getting a, looks like we're getting a silver range hood, a silver kind of microwave. So I might want to go ahead and change that and just change that out just for decoration's sake. Uh, uh, how the heck do I plan all this stuff? CAD drawings, yeah, yeah. No, it's this. <laughs> it's me with a piece of paper and a pencil and a notebook writing all these things down. So here I was kind of coming up with the ideas for the tub, how to seal the tub and put the extra boards in, the decking. Look, make cardboard template. I'm really good at cardboard templates. Um, here's where I'm just trying to draw sketches of this area right here in the kitchen, trying to figure out would I do this, do this, would I put a microwave there. Really, the big thing is this opening here. So this opening here is never as big as it is on the paper. The paper looks huge, but here, not so much. <laughs> you know, we're looking at probably here to here is an opening. So I gotta leave this space open so that the TV's there and you can watch TV and, and interact with people across the way. So that's kind of some of the sketches there. In fact, that reminds me, I have some other sketches I gotta go look at. Let's go take a look at them. <laughs> Let's go see if I can find them. Yeah, the real trick is finding, hey, look, there's lunch. Uh, the real trick is finding all my notes and where I left them at. Most times, aha, there they are. Four sketches. These were done on different paper because I do these at work. <laughs> Ooh, scratch that, I mean, I, I don't do that at work. I never do such things like that at work. So here's one I was really looking for. These are the sketches of, you know, extending. So if I'm standing here, I got to, oh, let's turn the camera. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm extending this countertop here and the sink. And then it comes around here. I'm extending this out over here, this countertop here. This will be a, a slide in drawer with utensils. It'll slide in and out. Then over here, there's we're gonna actually put storage. One of the ideas was this corner area. <laughs> right here is, is pretty much, there's nothing there, it's empty. There's a couple tubes here, but you can't really get to that through here. You can't really reach back that far. So it's kind of like, you know, God, I could almost put more, you know, cold storage here, but I have enough freezer and cold plates and refrigerator that really this is gonna be just a storage area, possibly for appliances or whatever she, the Admiral wants to put in there. Ah, right, here we go. Here's uh, some of the ideas for this area here in the kitchen. Here's the fold out. I'm gonna extend the countertop. Now I was gonna extend that uh, I'm not certain. We're still got to work on that uh, safety bar because uh, Jean likes to tear down towel bars. I'm sorry. I was thinking about a mod for the towel. What? What were you? What mod? So we're gonna have a safety bar in there. In fact, I'm thinking of putting a bar. It'll be a bar support here, so she'll actually have something to grab here and something to grab over here. And the boat goes, you know, dipsy turvy or whatever. So here's some pantry ideas of how, you know, some of the storage. How am I gonna put some of the doors in? Some of the other access. So I'm doing that. Uh, it's a list of all the, some of the stuff, a toaster, a ninja blender, a food saver, and a Senseo coffee maker. And that there should be, yeah, toasters in there. Um, so here's me kind of sketching some more ideas around the mast. How the, here's the mast, here's the pantry. 
Uh, here's the oven, the microwave kind of up there, and then kind of figure out the rest. So I'm still working on that. Oh, okay. Now these are the main sketches for what I'm going to be working on in the galley. This size of the microwave it took me a while to kind of find the right size, and really I'm going with an RV microwave. Um, I wanted a, it's an RV convection microwave. I really wanted an RV convection microwave over the counter that has fan and vent in it, but unfortunately, they're really big. They're 30 inches long, whereas the RV stuff's all 20 inches, so it's smaller, and fits right over the oven pretty decently in centers, whereas the 30 inch would be like way the heck over here and would block pretty much a lot of the view there. So, uh, talk about doing kitchen floor. I got to replace the kitchen floor anyway. It's kind of, this stuff is broken up and it's in bad shape. So I'm going to be pulling up that anyway. I thought, well, gosh, I wonder if I got enough storage down there to actually make a little wine storage area. Um, but we'll see. So this is this area here, which is this area there. So I'm going to do some stuff over here and here, and I got to flush that out. And then this area here is sketched out here where I'm showing I got these T holes in here to put plates, cups, and bowls and such. Uh, kind of flushed out in 3D a little bit of how the cabinets from here would go here. I got a cabinet here, cabinet, little cabinet over here, little cabinet there, and possibly a smaller cabinet over there. And then you see where it goes off into the T here. I was doing another electrical, trying to figure out. I have four receptacles or four hot lines in here, and I couldn't figure out which one that one went to. So, oh, yeah, I need to send that to the V bird. This one I'm going to send to the SAT T, and then I got two, one grounded, two ungrounded. So I've got to attach these grounds together with that to make sure they're grounded. And I'm using GFIs pretty much on every single outlet. Not so much for protection, but yeah, a little bit. I mean, typically you only need one on a circuit, but uh, really the nice thing about the GFIs I'm getting now is that they light up when they're on. And they have one light when they're on and they have another light when they pop. So that way I always know they're on. Uh, refrigerator, stove area, and how I'm gonna get the vent outside. They have these uh, vents that I've been looking at. They're called air-onlyventilators.com. Uh, look like really nice sturdy ones probably a little pricey as usual, but <laughs> isn't everything on a boat uh, Starting to work on a little bit of the kitchen here. I'm gonna extend this countertop a little more So I just put this in here to show that we're gonna extend the countertop I'm gonna round these corners off here and here and that'll give us some more counter space here Without intruding too much into here. I mean, this is kind of a small space here. This adds another uh, couple inches to it Hey, let's check it out. Uh, oh, about, you know, three and a half more inches. No, it's not technically. It's about three inches. So that's about three inches to it. Without, still can reach under here. Uh, this cardboard template, that's going to be for the pull-out drawer. That'll come out. It's got down for all the utensils and pull back in. So that'll use that space. <laughs> Kind of masking taping off the new sink. The new sink's uh, a swan sink made of some sort of composite material um, instead of stainless. Uh, so this will come out, this will come out, that'll come out. Uh, in fact, what's funny is there's a little hole right there. So whenever you turn this sucker on, <laughs> it sprays you. Uh, so that's getting replaced. And you can see well, I've kind of masked off where it's going to be. The other new sink's about 18 inches. Where this is 15, this is 15 by 25, so it's 15 or 25. Uh, the new one's 18 by 25, so it's still the same length there, but it's going to creep up here, which is fine because that's where the sink goes, the faucet goes anyway. Uh, we're going to have, we're not going to do the sprayer, we're going to have a, a sprayer and faucet together. And this is a fresh water tap for filtered water, double filtered. Uh, we don't know if we're going to keep that in yet or not. So my famous masking tape measuring trick. So basically this can is going to come out to about here. I'm going to come out to about a foot out. Which would put it right about almost middle of the work down that low. So I want to measure the distance between again this is rough. <laughs> Start cutting it out. 
reason I do this is not for the straight edge, it's really for the curved edge, so I get a better idea of how that edge works when I go and put it on the cardboard. pieces and see if you know if that's too far out from the sink too close seems like it's a good distance not too right in your face kind of thing but then we'll have to figure out what kind of shelving what kind of doors or to just leave it open uh, that'll be for the admiral to figure out uh, did a little flushing out here with this section here that little section here and a section over here so basically some small items here a little bigger items back in here back in here some other items as well i put in kind of a plate here I put in bowls plates smaller plates um i'll need to do some measurements on i need the bowl measurement to find out what that really is um but that'll allow that we can get that in here it's got to overlap here but that really doesn't matter we're not staining or painting so once i get done it'll look fine Again, I got the storage here, here, and here. And then added, we're going to extend out here the um, countertop. So we're going to extend the countertop here. Then I'll also have a retractable countertop extension that'll come up here anytime you need it. And then it'll lay back down into there. Uh, there's a bracket I got to get and find out measurements depending on how far that goes in or out. So that should give us some more space. So that's uh, kind of what we're working on right now. That's uh, where I'm at with the cardboard kitchen so far. So, a little bit of the cardboard kitchen is kind of flushed out, kind of, sort of. The Admiral's coming on board, so this should be really interesting. I'm sure there's going to be some major changes going on, but that's why it's in cardboard, first of all. So. Uh, right now, I've got kind of the pantry boxed in a little bit. I didn't finish the top because she's kind of on her way. Uh, it's not that much wider, about an inch wider than the original one, which is down there, which is smaller. Now, this one's going to be taller. And I kind of extended that piece out. That's going to be a little cabinet for storing stuff. It shouldn't hit anyone in the head. Still walk through here, just like you always did have to turn sideways because of the mask anyway. Uh, you can see I got some of the cabinets kind of figured out here. Extension to the cabinet. And this is where the vent's going to run. And you can see this is where the microwave is going to be at. Convection microwave. Uh, there'll be a range hood underneath that as well. The range hood is what's going to vent through here, up around, and a tube out there, and then out there'll be a, a vent tube out there. So, all right, so I'm going to set the camera up so that we get to see the Admiral and how she reacts. <laughs> what? Does it have to be this low? Uh, yeah. That's standard. That's actually higher than standard. It's right in your further. face. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and that's some, you know. And it has to come out that much, huh? Yeah, I don't have a choice on that. I'm pushing it as it is. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Sixty 
$62. Yeah, that cardboard's expensive. <laughs> I had to cut it to shape, my God. This no, is... that's how much the, that's the pull-out drawer that you were on your Pinterest that you pull out and uh -huh. drop down. So a 20-inch will fit in there, you pull out, drop down, that'll have your utensils in it. Oh, so and the drawers will come out further? No, the drawers will stay where they're at. Will this come out this far? Yes. Because that's going to be somewhat attached to the countertop. It's not ready to be a safety chain yet. <laughs> yes, you it's just a that? towel bar. Oh, why bother? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. It's just a towel bar. You, you should know by now. You don't yank those really, really hard. So yes, at some point there will be a safety bar here. <laughs> will it come out that far? No, this is just. I just. I couldn't mock something up with cardboard, so I just used an old towel bar. But so basically, what you're going to get is, you know, a safety bar that's going to be. Are you right recording right, right now? <laughs> she caught me. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I needed this on record. <laughs> okay. We In need case to you killed me, I needed that. a witness. <laughs> I'm feeling really closed in. This will open or come down? Or uh, it's up to us to figure out. I mean, it's, you know, it's a cubby. You can have it for open. You can have a door to it. No, you can put it back the way it was and not do any of this. No, I'm just thinking. This okay. is good that we have this. So here's the uh, over here. Um, so you got this. Then this could be whatever. Open door, closed door, Would it whatever. not go off? Are you actually bringing this out, though? Well, this will come out. Like that. Uh huh. Okay. Do more counter space, and that I got to look into what that mechanic device is that that's going to pull it. But up. I How bet much you were going to make this come out further. So I was thinking about it, but because of the mechanics of that device, I got to see how wide it is. It may already come out that much, which means gotcha. I can't really do anything else. So right now I'm gotcha. not. I'm going to take a look. I got to look at that thing and measure it and such. And I haven't got a chance to do that. But. Can we do that? Of course. I can um, cut and make, that's why it's in cardboard, so I, I can change that. I know. So this has to be this low. It can't all be up a little bit higher. I can fudge it a little higher once I get the range in, but I've got to look at plumbing okay. and piping. If it venting. can go higher or back a little bit more. It cannot go back. It does not go back. Well, that's the, that's the thing with the RV microwaves. They're deep. Um, and, it's, have to go and it's the convection. RV? Yeah, because the other one's too big. Okay, we're playing with the selfie stick now. Sweetness. All right. Oh, let's go around the world. Hey, okay. Now we got that out of our system. <laughs> All right. Today we're looking at uh, what I call the cardboard kitchen. Uh, it's what I'm putting together, the concept idea to redo the galley. Uh, have the Admiral check out it already and make sure that, you know, tweak it here, tweak it there. She had a good idea. Uh, so I went ahead and made those changes. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of the cardboard kitchen. So if you look over here, oh, man, the cardboard kitchen's falling down. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm working on that part. So. Go put that back in place. <laughs> you know that painter's tape just doesn't hold like it used to, does it? There you go. Okay, let's try this again. So walking in, walking down the stairs, coming here. All right, so this is the kitchen. We've got a little shelf up there I'm working on uh, that'll have a hole and put some games or stuff in it. There'll also be a vent tube that'll go in there. I'll show that on the other side. Uh, here's the back side of where the microwave convection oven and the range hood will be. And we cut out some spaces here, so I'm going to put stainless steel bars up against there to hold that up. Before I just had it blocked in, but it kind of, like the Admiral said, it kind of closed stuff off and, you know, it's nice to have that openness. And here's the mock-up of the microwave convection oven. So, I need to hang this light somewhere. Let's see. Can I hang it here? Probably not. It'll probably fall down. So let's do it over here. Hey, there we go. Okay. But I can point to things a little better. Hey. Um, debating right now whether to replace this. I mean, it's got a few rust areas here, but I mean, overall it's okay. The grates look like crap, but I might be able to redo that or order another one. Um, so we got our space here. Here's our range hood, which I really wanted a thin range hood. And the real thing is uh, the one I found was great. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was in Australia and they won't ship. I'm like, are you kidding me? What do you mean you won't ship? <laughs> so I'm actually get this. Oh, turn it that way. Uh, actually get this. I'm actually sending it to a friend of mine. Uh, a friend of mine. <laughs> just some guy I met on Liveaboard Sailboats on Facebook. 
who I talked with, and I said, hey, is anyone from Australia? And everybody says, yeah, yeah, I can send it to you, so I'm going to ship it to him, and then he's going to ship it to me. So that way, because the company that, that makes these won't ship internationally, so yeah, way around that. Um, so shout out to uh, Jimmy. Thanks, buddy, in Australia. Okay, um, so this will be finished off. This will have wood all the way down. This is kind of my load-bearing wall, so that will come all the way up here and attach to there. Underneath here I'll have slots, and I haven't decided whether I'll go flush or an angle or maybe just a slight less angle. This is just a carbon mock-up, so it's not exact. But that'll put in um, knives, so you can pull knives and stuff right out of there make it easy. And over here will be the two water meters for the two water tanks, which we're going to get into that tonight. And the uh, that'll be a switch for the propane. Uh, the propane has a electronic switch all the way at the tanks in the back of the boat. On top of the deck there's a dock box and that's where the switch will switch that off and on. And I want to put a flashing light. Probably going to put a flashing LED probably right about here so that when that's on the switch lights up but also the flashing light will go on saying hey dude you left the propane on. Because you don't want that stuff leaking down to the bilge because it's heavier than air so it will make its way down to the bilge and if you get a spark down there Boom, bye-bye boat. So you want to make sure to avoid that part. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, right here, this is just an extra board, but really, stainless steel tube is going to be here, and that'll attach to there, and I got the three back there, and then it'll be attached to this load-bearing wall that'll attach to the whole cabinet. Uh, we'll be redoing the whole cabinet tree area, putting the laminate down because, uh, yeah, look, comes right up in here, and there's gaps in it. So we're going to replace all that. Um, Got plenty of fans and stuff. Oh, hey, look, my green tape. Hey, let's look at that. Yes, it's a mess, but this is real world, man. This is not, this isn't staged. None of this is staged. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a food saver, one of the vacuum seal things, and we're going to plan on using that a bunch on the boat, so it's got its own little place right here. up to sit here, but obviously it can move. Uh, I'm planning on putting a receptacle probably somewhere right about here so that will attach to the microwave oven and convection oven. The range hood will be DC, so it's going to be hooked up to a different circuit on DC voltage. Uh, over here, we decided that there's no real, there's just a lot of empty space here. It's not being used under here. When we go under here, one of these cabinets, and I'll bring the light down so we can all see. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of space under there doing nothing. Now, of course, i got to clean that mess up a little bit. Um, but basically, I've got a lot of space over there. I can almost drop in what would be a cooler insert and make it storage. It won't actually be cooler or cold plates. You know, we're just going to make it storage. So, the way i got it kind of configured, this will be the door that will open up. This is just telling me this is how far it's going to go back approximately. Uh, that's, but this will be the actual cutout here. And we'll pull stuff out of here. And I'm planning to put a receptacle probably there. That will be a, a standard AC voltage receptacle. Alright, what else we got? Oh, up here. So up here is where, because I've got to feed in a vent tube from the range hood, it's going to vent behind the microwave, come up here, come out here, through here, and I'm going to put a hole in here, and then I've got these uh, air only, air ventilation only vents. They're real nice. Uh, that go up there, they won't let water in, but they'll let air out. Uh, so if any water gets there, these little balls that float up and, and stop it. Uh, we'll try those out. And uh, yeah, found those online. So that'll vent this. That'll allow air to vent out because I like to have, you know, for cooking something, definitely want it to vent out of the boat. Uh, up here, probably put a, uh, this is going to be up here to kind of hide it as well, and probably put a um, paper towel holder. So and we'll have to figure out how to do curtains around here. This will be a whole wooden shelf here, so probably something around there on the bottom of it. All right. Uh, I'm not planning on doing much over here with these. They're pretty much where they are. If anything, we might put a, you know, a spice rack or something. Mount something like right there on this front hat so it goes back and forth and stays there. So we might do spice rack or something, but not certain. Redoing absolutely all the plumbing underneath, which is, oh my god! <laughs> ah! Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's tape and there's epoxy of some kind. Pretty color. I like it. Looks nice. Unfortunately, it's all got to go. <laughs> so I'll put a new one in there. And this is the filter for the water, which is just dangling there. So I got to do something with that. So, um, like I said, I may get rid of the filtered water and may just filter all the water in general, which we do have a main filter on the water already. Uh, plan on extending the countertop here and then also putting in an extension for the countertop, which I guess I 
close that one. Yay! Um, if I pull this up, so that would come up. There's a an angle bracket that's going to go under here that allow it to lock. So it'll lock like that. That'll give you extra counter space all the way around. And then you just with a lever, boom, it goes back down and it's out of the way. See, I'm looking at. Uh, Got to get the microwave in, the range in, range hood. Make sure I get all those measurements set up right and kind of tweak the pantry. I've got the plates and the small plates and the bowls on order so I can measure those and find out how big those are because they only give me a couple measurements on the plates but nothing on the bowls. So when I get that in I'll have a better idea what that is. Um, and then the sink. We're looking at samples of the sink so we may show you that uh, later all the different samples of colors. They actually order the samples. Of course you got to pay for the samples. Woohoo! Uh, but you know, at least you get the samples in, get it figured out, and put it with the countertop, which she's already picked the color of the countertop, which uh, in other videos you'll see that somewhere. Um, so that's about it for right now. The next thing's going to be cleaning the water tanks. So if you want to tune into that one, you can catch that on the, uh, one of the other videos that has it on. Thank you for watching the galley series. Make sure to like and subscribe. And click on the bell because that will tell you every time we put out a new video, which currently is about once a month. And make sure to comment. We'd really love to see some comments about things that you might do on your boat. Ideas and things you think are really cool on your boat that my wife could have me do later. Especially for the galley. So let us know. We'd like to hear from you. And we're not sure... When our next video will be. And we're not sure... What our next video will be on. Actually, the next one will be on the galley series. Oh, it'll series. be the galley series. So there you yeah. go. So we do know. <laughs> Catch us again. All right. Thanks. Thank you.